Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we are back on iRacing but today we've got something a little bit different. Now we're in the advanced, or not even the advanced Mazda Cup, the rookie Mazda Cups here today but as you will notice there's some different stuff on the screen. I've actually finally got round to downloading caps. I thought 2020 I'm gonna do it but it's lights out and away we go. I wasn't quite expecting this race to get away so quickly as it has done but we are racing here at Laguna Seca. That has been a horrendous start for myself. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a test, hence why I decided to go Mazda Cup. Uh, trying to, you know, test that cap to see how everything is with it. Everything like that. So hopefully we can, you know, at least just make it to the end of this race. But apart from that, I'm literally just trying to test it and everything like that. I forgot crew chief for this one. Um, apologies for that. So hopefully yeah, we can just keep it clean and tidy. But yeah, looking forward to it though. Definitely, obviously I'll have to configure some settings with caps and everything like that. I get a few little issues with stuttering here and there, but I have managed to sort out most of them, I think. I hope I have anyway. We'll wait and find out this race. Obviously the first sort of proper test with other cars on the circuit and everything like that. But obviously for those of you that aren't aware, caps is basically obviously, as you can tell on the bottom left hand side of the screen, it's basically just a uh, little piece of software that people use, it just gives you a lot more information than the iRacing system does, the normal HUD, everything like that. Uh, I have got, as you would have seen at the start of the video as well, one on the top left hand side of the screen, but it keeps disappearing. Uh, it only comes up towards the end of a lap. I think, obviously I can change that, but I just haven't looked just yet. Obviously this is a bit of a learning experiment there as we run probably wide through there, pick up an off track. Um, but obviously we do get a rough idea of how much I rating we're going to probably lose, how much uh, SR we'll lose or gain, everything like that as well. So hopefully, yeah, it is going to be quite useful down the line. It just gives you guys as well as myself a bit more information rather than just guessing constantly here. But yeah, we'll wait and see. But yeah, definitely, you know, it's so popular, it's so common. Um, wanted to use it a little bit more. As you can see, there is the HUD showing up. It reckons at the moment we're going to lose about 39 I rating. Uh, so we need to make some progress. Um, but Maybe, maybe it'll stay up now. I think it just stays up for a few seconds each lap. I might be wrong though. Now we've finished lap one, it might just stay there. But yeah, so we can see, you know, sort of what the strength of the lob is like, everything like that. I mean, I might do an install guide. Caps is, you know, it's not some new fandangled software that I've just discovered. You know, it's pretty common. Most iRacing content creators use it. So I felt, you know, I need to get on top of the, you know, get get back up to sort of what everyone else is using and everything like that. But, you know, if you'd like me to make an install guide, something like that, perhaps you're a bit new to iRacing, perhaps anything like that, you just want to know what it is, I will make sure to make a video on that, obviously, if it is requested. So, obviously, if you want to see that, leave it down in the comments below. But, yeah, I think you should focus on this race, though, perhaps. A little bit of a run on this guy. Got a, yeah, much better run up the hill. Um, but, yeah, we'll let this break a bit early there, because I feel like I'm going to get chopped otherwise. But yeah, I just realised how difficult it is without crew chief. You forget how much you rely on just little things like that. Just because obviously you don't think about like the guy behind, for example, he might go for a lunch at some point, and I might just not be expecting him because I'm not looking. But we'll wait and see. We've got the number 11 car just in front of us. Um, hopefully, we can try and go for something soon. Slow car ahead. Are we out of spinner? I don't know. There seems to be. A bit of a battle brewing. You can see top guy in this lobby, though, 5.9k I rating. And then the rest of us mere mortals, anywhere from like 2.5 to 1.5k. I think I am the either the lowest or one of the lowest I rating in this lobby. There's a bit of stutter in there. Someone's trying to go for a bit of a lunge to the outside. We're all concentrating up through turn one. This is getting all a bit close for comfort, isn't it? Oh, bit of contact. Wonderful. Just what we needed. Not much we could have really done there. Things you love to see, just a mouse to spin in front of you. It was a small piece of contact as well, but that was rather frustrating. Um, but we'll, we'll continue on. Don't think we picked up any damage from that. In front of the car seems fine, so we did. We kept it mainly clean. There wasn't much yet, like I said, that I could really do there. Number 11 is feisty. To say the least, he's gone up the inside of someone else. Now, sometimes, I thought you could see other people's instant counts in this, but I might have to enable that somewhere. Let's see. Uh, can we get a potential run on these two? Yes, I'm going to try it. Come on. Come on. Oi, the squeeze. Come on, mate. 
Wonderful. Should have probably bailed like that, but I think it's quite clear we were going to get in the run. I'm not too sure why he decided to force the issue so much. Trying to just give me a bit of room. But I guess we'll take the places. <laughs> Master Cup's got dirty very quickly. Why well, I don't generally race in these sorts of things. I do enjoy the Master Cup card, it's quite good fun. Perhaps I'll have to go back to some, of, to some of the advanced Masters, but this was obviously just meant to be a bit of a test video. I think generally people still use this for either farming eye rating, just trying to pick on the weak, or you know, that sort of thing. But a little bit of FPS issues, that's alright though. See, now we have moved up a few places. It reckons we could gain some eye rating. On this one, we're already on lap four, so it gives us a rough idea of how long the race is going to be. Everything like that, it is a useful piece of kit. I can see why people do use it. To be honest, the reason I hadn't up to this point, I don't know why, but I thought it could only be used in OBS. And I now, obviously, I've downloaded it, everything like that. I don't even know why I thought that, but yeah, I thought it was just something for OBS, but it is just its own overlay on iRacing. I don't recall with OBS generally, I stream with it, but I just use Shadow Play still for the most part. Unless obviously I need to do something fandangled or anything like that, but yeah, personally OBS normally does the trick for me. Uh, sorry, Shadow Play normally does the trick for me. I used to record with a webcam as well, see for some stuff, but it's decided it doesn't want to do that anymore. I'm not too sure why. A bit of a wobble. Ten instant points this race. We are not going to keep our SR intact. And yeah, struggling a bit with the stutters. Maybe we'll have to do a bit more testing. For once, actually, it's my GPU being strained by our racing rather than my CPU. Although I've got a Ryzen 7 1700. So. Obviously, our racing is still such a CPU intensive game, but. Yeah, since I've enabled this, it does seem to struggle a little bit more, so. Perhaps I have to lower the quality. Around the outside, into the final corner. We've got a bit of a run. I think we have got a slight better run. I have a longer run down towards turn one, but we'll see what we can do. That guy's just going to bail out of it, I'm not too sure why. Are we giving more of a squeeze than I realised? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think the battle between us two at the moment is going to decide who actually gains some eye rating. So, it's always just those little things, you know, you can work out roughly what's going to happen. Everything like that. So obviously I used to just base it on whatever number car we were was what position we needed, and obviously that turned out not to be the case. But yeah, let's just try and keep it clean for the second half of this. We're obviously on 10x, which is ideal that we get reminded of that as well. Yeah, 2.1k SOF, too bad. Especially for sort of a bit of a miscellaneous race. I think one of the highest SOF races I've done in recent times was 2.5k. That was in the... I can't remember what they were now. Uh, what was it? I think it was the TCR Cup? Or it might have been the M8. It was some, no, it was something at Donington last week. I actually had a look after the race. I'm pretty certain yeah, it was Donington and the M8. So we had two people in there with like 8ki rating. Obviously, that's why they were about four seconds that fast. Mad. But into those final couple of corners. Keep it nice and tidy. Yeah, still struggling a bit with the stuttering. Not too sure what that's all about. Might have to lower the graphics settings slightly. Oh, the FPS. Would love some consistency, please. We're about halfway there, though. We're doing alright. That's been kicked up by someone. And obviously you can see what people's lap times have been around you as well. So we know the guy behind lost 7 tenths that lap. The guy just behind him though. Pretty much stayed level with us. So I watched for that. And we didn't really gain on the guys in front. Master is quite good fun though. I'll be honest. Someone's struggling. Oh, it's the lap car. Damn it. I need to enable the lap time delta as well again. I don't know. 
I see, I don't want too much stuff on my head. Not too sure if third or fourth gear is better through that. I think if you get it right, fourth is definitely quicker, but. Bit of a wobble into the look up screen. This car is generally quite forgiving, but if it goes, it obviously completely goes. Three. Once it's gone over a certain point, you're just not getting it back. So I what's going on between these two, but I've definitely gained some time this lap. Yeah, see, we just seem to be getting some stutters through the final couple of corners, don't we? And you can see sort of the position gains and everything like that. It's probably made a lot of time up. Yeah, three and a half seconds we made up on the guy in front of that lap. Hopefully, you know, 2020. Obviously, I want to try and do a bit more eye racing, build up this channel a bit more if we can. It could be quite nice. You know, we'd love trying to hit a thousand subscribers on it. Everything like that. But I haven't got any, you know, apart from that, you know, that sort of one numerical aim, but I'm not really going to get too worried about it. You know, what happens, happens. This channel is obviously just a lot more fun orientated, sort of doing what I want in terms of racing. Relative to my main channel, which is obviously just so strictly tied down to F1 nowadays. But we'll wait and see though. I haven't really got, you know, I hope everyone had a good New Year's. Everything like that. This is the first race I've actually recorded in 2020. Um, I did, obviously, I had the Formula 3 video go out a couple of days ago. But yeah, this is actually my first race in 2020. But yeah, I hope everyone did have a good New Year's though. Um, obviously, if you've got any aims and targets you want to achieve in 2020, or this decade generally, Hope we're already working towards them. I mean, this video, if not mistaken, should be going out on about the 3rd of Jan. So, hopefully you're already a couple of days in, made some good progress, everything like that. Personally, I haven't got any particular aims this year. I sort of just want to enjoy myself, everything like that. In terms of IRL and in terms of some more YouTube side of things. You know, I just want to have a bit more fun and, yeah, just not worry so much. Everything like that. Laps, but three laps to go of this race. I don't think we've really got the pace to be back with the guy in front. Although, if that lap car keeps going for stuff, then maybe. Never really know what's going on in these sorts of races, I'll be honest. This might not be a rookie lobby, but it still seems to be a bit weird at the end of the day. The guy in front's clearly got some good pace. I can fall through there, that's the way to go. Difference. Might be able to get a slightly better run with it. And yeah, you can see sort of what people are gaining on you and everything like that when you're gaining on people. Ah, the end of the stick. I just pinched the inside wheel there. But yeah, apart from one crazy lap, it seems to have been quite a quiet race on the whole. I just wish I'd remember to enable crew chief. Could have probably been useful. But yeah, I've only gone with these two overlays though. Uh, the pit one seemed to really hurt my FPS. And to be honest, I know how to pit normally. Uh, but the fuel one might be useful at some point. Because I am terrible in terms of fuel in on my racing. But we'll focus the last couple of laps, see if we can get closer. Two more to go. You just seem to get those couple of laps where everything just sort of comes together again. Guys in front are bunching up, so hopefully that's a good sign. Try and get the power nice and early out the final corner. Yeah, it's felt like quite a good lap. I think guys in front haven't had particularly brilliant ones. But what's it going to be? Oh, everyone's disappeared. 42 1, okay. Guess we are finding some more pace there. So yeah, I definitely think some fine tuning needs to be made in terms of FPS and everything like that. It definitely does, you know, it's very taxing for a few seconds by the looks of it, Caps. You can just see it sort of strolling for a few moments. I mean, I've got a pretty decent computer. A uh, Ryzen 7 1700, like I said, the GTX 1070. But 4K is obviously pushing it still, so perhaps we'll 
will drop back down towards 10p content a little bit more. 2020 was meant to be the year I sort of moved pretty much exclusively over to 4k content. And, well, we'll see how that all goes. I think a 1070 does struggle with it a bit. But I mean, iRacing is the main PC game I play. Obviously, I've got PS4 Pro and Xbox One X now. And although they're not obviously 4k 60 all the time. I can put 4K. Two guys in front though going for it. Hopefully we can try and make some gains. Don't run out. I don't want an extra one, sorry. Go on, go for a late lunge or something. Better contact, everything like that. Push each other out wide somewhere. Ah, and to sit through the final corner. Oy. Final lap though. Let's do this thing. If we can make any sort of gains, that'd be wonderful. Oh, that guy's breaking earlier than I was expecting. Either I've definitely got a bit hot in to T1, but hey, I'm jumping up quite a big gap behind us. Shame if something does open up and this guy's in the way, that's going to be frustrating. I don't think at the moment we're going to be close enough, unless something big opens up. Oy, that's not where we want to be. Yeah, not going to be a good race for my SL, I don't think, unfortunately. But, as well, I'm just hoping I can shake off this cold at the moment. I've just been ill. Like, sort of low-key, groggy ill for the last three weeks now. It's the time of the year for it all and everything like that. Oh, no, not another one. Come on, Matt. Shocking. To the front though, go on, go for something. Go for something, you know you want to. Cost each other time. Oi, someone goes off. Can we capitalise? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. Come on, you, get out of the way. There you go. Finally let me through. He's only under blue flags for about five laps. Oh, how did we not pick him off like that? Through the final corner, though. We are just about going to survive the Master Cups here at Laguna Seca. And it's going to be P6 in the end, so we will take that. We'll have a look how much I rate, and it reckons we'll gain there or thereabouts. It reckons 27. Now, normally I'm pretty certain uh, Cap says that's anywhere from four above to four below that so it's normally pretty well, either four either way so it's pretty accurate at the end of the day but yeah thank you all so much for watching this video nonetheless not the best race in the world but nice to have a bit of a catch up as we jump into 2020 as well but yeah thank you all so much for watching this video do get yourself subscribed if you're new around here and yeah hopefully i'll see you guys next time for another video